Alright, um, today's video is pretty much part two of what I used to do back in the day and what I used to discuss. This is basically about the cancer. What do we know about cancer? We do know it's something we don't, we do not want. And it's something that people fight to pretty much stay alive. So it, it, it is these days a threat. Cancer is a big threat and I think anybody knows that. Um, I know cancer appears basically out of the blue sometimes. And I know sometimes you could be healthy as fuck. And out of nowhere you hear from your doctor and they're the only ones who can tell you this too. That you've been diagnosed. Now, we all know we don't want that shit, we don't want cancer, we don't want nothing to do with it, but I do know that I seen a video from Freely Banana Girl that supposedly a research has been shown that marijuana is actually becoming useful. The weed what everybody who used to enjoy smoking, yes, I'm a, I'm an ex-pothead myself. I used to smoke weed back in the days, but who hasn't, right? Um, <clears throat> that weed has been transformed into liquid, dropped into a capsule. The person drinks it, like a regular pill. Now... There's a place, I'm not sure where it's at, but so far it says that somebody makes them, but only for those who are struggling with the cancer. What is my thought behind all this? Well, I don't really got much to say, but pretty much saying that is a surprise. But I think there should be another way on fighting cancer, or at least coming out with a serum, like a cure for all diseases. We need that anyways. Now, I understand we have lost a lot of our families, friends, maybe a young brother or young sister that have been diagnosed with it, who are born with it. I'm just sending out shout outs to people who have lost their family or, or anybody to cancer. I'm definitely sending you respect and love directly your way from me. And I know how that feels already because my mom did pass away back in 2014 of December of 29th. And um, honestly, thinking of the word cancer is just not a funny thing. But it really comes to show you that it doesn't matter if you're healthy or not healthy, eventually you will be diagnosed eventually. All you can do is hope and pray that you don't get it. Now I know a lot of people out there on YouTube and I've seen channels who are pretty much using the cancer word as a threat towards somebody only because they've been through it. Like the one called Furious Pete is on his second, second round and he's no longer he's no longer with cancer he's cancer free so which means it's a good thing yes no one does not deserve to die with cancer so if anybody uses threat as a a game or a joke you need help literally need fucking help now i can actually mention there are some people out there who are doing it you can see why you're getting karma in your life. I can think of a few. So, one thing's for sure. You're not sending any positive message if you're going to be threatening somebody at all. But simply say, look, I hope you do not die. I hope you do fight this and live see another day. That is a positive message. 
If you send a message saying, I hope you fucking die, I hope that cancer eats you out and makes a hole in the damn body of yours and your heart explodes. You're being negative. Now, if anybody would have said anything that my mom deserved to die, I would come find you and I would hurt you. So, it's that simple. No one does not deserve it. Nobody, and I mean nobody. You could be 13 years old, you could be young. And then, out of nowhere, you could visit the doctor and they say you're diagnosed out of nowhere. How would you react towards it? Depends what goes in your mind if you ever, uh, if ever, if you ever fallen out. But point is, we need to fight cancer best way we can, whatever it takes. And for those who think, like I said, think that cancer is a funny thing, and you're just making fun of people who has it, I hope you get your, I hope you get your taste next for it and I hope to God that you do because honestly that's not a funny thing to really threaten people with it at all even I know that for sure so I do know that there is a wrestler that goes by WWE Hall of Famer Bret the Hitman Hart he is going through prostate cancer and I hope to God he does beat this. Our hearts are to you, man. Fight this. Do not give up. But for those who are struggling with cancer, don't give up. Be strong. All the prayers are right with you. Believe me, my mom didn't give up and I still have a hard time trying to live my life right now. It's not easy, believe me. But that's why I post videos, or, well, not videos, but comments. If you have your family, your mom, your dad with you, just, that's why I always say it. Enjoy every moment with them while they can, while they're still with you. Because when that day comes when you lose them, it's going to change your life fully. I know it has me, and my life is really still tough. But I know there are people who do, who does not know what struggles is struggle is. People who've never struggled before, I know you've not been there, but eventually you will. And when you do, let's see if you have backup plans or what you're gonna do. Suicide ain't gonna help, that for sure. But one thing for sure, we have to be ready for things that's unexpected. So, anyways just wanted to put this video out. I know that it's been taking too long, but I've been chilling, kicking back. So, anyways, people, much love to you. And people who are, who are diagnosed, keep fighting. Don't give up. And I hope that science comes out with cures for all types of diseases. May God bring us the answers that we need. And P.S. Anyone who's got something against religions... Don't worry about us, worry about yourself. Peace out, everybody.